Good morning, guys. It's six o'clock in the morning. Today is Friday, May 27. I live, I'm standing right now about 25 feet from my, my, my apartment. This is a school, okay? This is a charter school. And it's part of the high school because this, the high schools can't fit into the main, the main high school. So they have little places like this where the kids go to school. Now, the school is closed today, okay? It will be closed today, and I will tell you why. Let's take a walk and see what's going on in the back. I have to sweep all this today because it's going to rain today. looking way ooh, ooh, we're gonna have some some planting gardening going on look at this guys he's working on it already look at that over there look at that over there right there look at that they cleaned up look at the fence look at the fence I wish I can help him, but he don't want no help. He does his things on his own. It's like 5.30 in the morning, guys. Let me turn these notifications off. Give me one second, guys. Excuse me for the camera. Okay, guys. Good morning to everybody. Danny with Ada here. Welcome back to my channel. And, uh... I'm out here early, okay, because I got up early, that early, guys, there you go, there you go, you know, I love every single one of y'all, I love all the channels that I am um, subscribed to, and I um, have missed some notifications for some channels, and one made me so happy, I, I even cried. But uh, I had to get up and wash my face <laughs> and get myself together. Okay, get myself together. So, guys, let me tell you something. I um, kept searching. Now, you know what happened on the other on the West Coast. Um, people don't have no heart, guys. People don't have no heart whatsoever. God, that that really broke my heart. Um. I don't know, some people are selfish, a lot of people are selfish, they only think about when disaster hits home, when a major disaster like Texas, something like that, hits one of their loved ones, then it's like, oh my goodness, you know what, you know, but um, because they're not related to you, or you don't know them, okay? It happened on the West Coast, and you're on the East Coast, or the South, or the North, or whatever. It's like people don't care. It's like they have so much negativity in their hearts and their minds. I can't take people like that, guys. I just, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. So when I, I felt the pain, and I don't know them. But they were all humans. In the end of the day or the morning or whatever hour, we are all humans. When are when is when are people gonna get that straight? Okay. This black, yellow, blue, green issue needs to freaking stop already. Okay, it's uncalled for. Not everybody should be judged because. One person did one thing, whether it was blue, green, or yellow, or black, or Hispanic, or, or Polish, or, or whatever, whatever, okay, whatever nationality. We shouldn't all have to pay for, for other people's uh, mistakes, okay. We are living in some tough times, okay, tough times, and a lot of people cannot handle the stress. That's the honest truth. A lot of people cannot handle the stress. Well, you have to try 
to handle the stress and just take it as best as you can. Right now with the prepping and the food issue, you know, that's the main issue right now. The food, the food, the food, the food, the food. Now, I understand, yes, we have to be as prepared as much as we can. But don't be the person that's going to prepare, 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 prepare. Can food, can yams, the can this, the can that. But you don't even give your neighbor. Uh, it doesn't have to be something you can because they might say, Oh, no, we've never ate that before. I'm not going to touch that. But give him a, a bag of rice. Give him a... A box of juice. What is that gonna cost you? Ten bucks? What is ten bucks? Is it gonna make you richer? Will it make you poorer? Are you gonna miss out on it? Are you gonna need it later or not? Food will multiply, okay? You'd be surprised when you have a good heart, things come to you. You don't even have to go get it. Things, people come to you. Blessings comes to you, but you don't look for blessings. You don't do it for blessings. You do it because you worry about the next person, okay? will have something. Um, you don't have to ask any questions if they have or they don't have. It doesn't matter, okay? I came back here, and the reason why I came back here also was to make sure that my, my upstairs neighbor, which I haven't even seen her, I saw her... Um, her husband, they're, they're Jamaican, they're very nice, and, um, and they could be the worst persons in the world, I w still wouldn't care, okay, and I said, you know what, I'm bagging all this rice, I was can't, I was vacuum sealing my three bags of 50 pound rice, and I'm filling up in a bucket, I made all kinds of sizes, okay, all kinds of sizes of, of, the, of rice bags, to take with me, you know, when I go on my on my um, camping trips and whatnot, I don't have to take a whole big bag of rice. Take little individuals, like a cup and a half. That would do okay for me to make some rice out there by myself. And it's even enough for two or three. And if I was going, like, with my son, we have plans to go with rain. Here we get the rain again. Okay, this weekend. Um... Today, actually today, we were supposed to leave camping again. There's openings. There's sites available. But we got a thunderstorm and whatnot. Uh, today and tomorrow. But two, it starts at 2 o'clock. So remember, I have a grandson. So, you know, we don't want him to get sick, wet, um, muddy. Okay, kids are kids. Anyway, kids are kids. But we, we want to enjoy the campground. We don't want to be hidden under a tarp. So, that's out of the question now. So, actually, I might be babysitting him today, tonight. Um, and uh, my daughter-in-law asked me, you know, well, can I keep him? What are you talking about? Just drop his behind up in here. That's all you got to do. But he's not used to staying in anybody's house. He's always after mom and pops. So, that's okay. <laughs> he decided to stay. Because they need a break. They need a break. So she wants to go out and just have a day out with my son. Well, of course, you know. It's, yeah, I told her, yeah, yeah, I should do that more often. Enjoy a little bit. Not that they're going far. They're just going to have a nice dinner. You know, nice romantic. You know, and they're young. They're in their, what, 40s and 36, something like that. Um, they're young. Go ahead. I told her, why don't you take the cornucopia boat? This is a Malta. I wish it was a freaking beer, okay? Excuse my English. I am so mad this morning. Um, I have a Malta, because I already have my coffee. I said, I don't want my coffee. So, let's see if they decide to bring him and go out to dinner or whatnot. And it was going to be a torrential rain after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Baby girl has to go to work, so she got her rain jacket. I know she's going to come home with her drenched shoes. It is humid out here, and it's going to be 80 degrees. Are those voices you hear back there? There are the guys. There's a roofing um, 
This is a roofing company. Three, two houses down the third one. And they do roofing. So we're used to them out there at that time. And they're very good because they plow a little bit, a little bit with the neighbors on snow days. And um, they have cameras, so that's really cool too. <laughs> um, but this area here is safe. But then again, you can't be comfortable. So anyway, guys. It broke my heart this morning, and it's not the channel. It's not the channel, okay, that I'm talking about a channel. No, the channel person is a very nice person, um, you know, um, many know him, and I love the channel. I love the channel, and I love the panel, but I ran into it this morning because I missed it. Yes, I said I missed a whole lot of stuff. But I said, you know what, I need time. I need a break. I need a break. I was going to take this all weekend. I need a break. Off of you know watching um, all these um, different channels a lot of them I am subscribed to but I I can only watch two minutes of it and I have to just whew, scroll it away okay I just it's, it's too much it's just too much it's a bunch of lies and it's a bunch of um, scared the crap out of you your nerves they get your nerves worked up um, they'll make you run to the supermarket at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I just I, I already suffer from anxiety. I can't be watching this stuff. So a lot of them I do watch. I participate. And, and sometimes I'd be mad when they go on vacation and I don't see them because I, I like their content. It's, it's mellow. You get the information. You get, you know, and, it's, it's, and we have fun and we laugh and we joke. And um, it, it's like a different topics all the time, okay? So, I like that. And the prayers and stuff like that. But I'm talking about the commenters. Where is their heart? We had, okay, um, we had the incident at the school in Texas, okay? I say we because this is the U.S. We are all humans. Remember that, guys. We are all humans. Okay? Bang your head on the wall if you need to understand that part. We're all humans. Black. Hispanic. Dominican. White. Whatever. Okay? Indian. Uh, Muslim. Whatever the heck, okay, you are. You get cut, you're going to bleed the same way. When you wind up in a hospital, you're going to get the same treatment anybody else is going to get. You're going to get the same IV. You're going to get blood transfusion from blood. You're going to get IVs from the same IVs that everybody else gets. If you get a wound on your leg, they don't have to call Mars to get your medication. They, they're going to give you the same thing. If you have uh, health issues, you're going to have the same treatments that they might have given somebody else with the same issue. Get it right. Bang your head against the wall if y'all can't get it right. Those of y'all that are so negative... I cannot take negative people. I cannot. That is not in my um, life history. And it will never be. I hate to hear about racism. And um, people, sometimes they, they don't grow up in the right environment or the parents didn't have time. And even if they had time, so your kids are going to be what they're going to be. Okay? You can raise the perfect child. Think you're raising the perfect child the best way you can. And they become gay or LGBTQ or whatever it is. Because you can't say this and you can't say that anymore. So I don't know what that... I'm going to have to call my nephew in Florida and see what it is they can be called. Because I do have gays. I have transgenders in my family. Um, what else do I have? I have a little bit of drug addicts. Okay, I got, I got Latin kings. Uh, um, I was a king back in the past. Okay, a king is always a king. But... I I got off of that, okay? I, I needed a life. I, I, I got off of that. But if I needed to make a phone call, I could make a phone call, okay? So, yeah. But I don't talk about it. I don't be gangbanging, busting, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I beat up a lot of asses. Excuse my French again. Yes, I did. Back in Brooklyn. I'm not in New Jersey because I was running from anybody. I don't run from anybody. I face it, okay? I face it. That's me. And that's why sometimes I take a break from the channel. Because I know myself, okay? I know myself. And um, I can't tolerate people pushing me or trying to, you know, direct me. But you don't know me. You don't know my past. You don't know me, okay? 
So you have to be careful what you do to other people. You can't push people because you don't know their background. You don't know what they're thinking. Okay? That's another thing. Um, look at the channel. Look at the content. If you like it, you like it. If you're not, go to another channel. Okay? If I need a break, I would take a break. Um, I will say why I took a break. But I can't be hunted like the bounty hunter. Because that will piss me off automatically. I know people worry. You know what happened? But I take a break. I say I'm going to take a break until next week. And, and I, just, I did make a video that I was going to take a break until Monday. But I didn't up the little bit because I fell asleep. I fell asleep. Okay. Because I was tired from vacuum sealing rice. And that was my main concern. Summer's coming. It's humid. I live on a lower level. Actually, um, this is the sidewalk. Okay. Um, that's my floor level there. My floor level is right there. My apartment goes up. My ceiling are up to here. Okay. As you can see. Up to where those meters are. That's my ceiling. That's how high it is. But yet, I have to go down steps to get in there. You understand, right? Okay. And then the back part is level to the sidewalk. To the back sidewalk. So, but because it's a lower level, I don't have windows on the side. There is no windows on my side. Only on the front and in the back. It's very hard to get a lot of ventilation. So what I do is I keep my bathroom fan on and it vents, you know, all that moisture air out. I'll shut it off at time, but I turn it on to get ventilation out. So guys, I was really mad at commenters on a channel uh of what happened in you know the teachers let me let me let me rephrase all this with what happened in texas with what happened in boston which wasn't a school but it was a massacre okay let's say it that way what happened in texas that is devastating so if you have children okay if you have children and going to school, if you have grandkids that go to school, if you have nieces and nephews that go to school, um, you gotta have a heart for what happened. If, you, if that didn't move you, nothing will. If that episode did not move anyone that's watching this channel right now, listening to these words, if that did not move your heart, or even brought a tear to you, or you felt like you, you know, like, like, like your chest was like, oh my God, you know, like you just want to pour out crying. You don't have a heart, okay? Uh, yes, I said it. But anyway, it is saying it. You don't have a heart. You are selfish, selfish, okay? With a capital F, fish. You know, but a fish. You need to be thrown in the ocean and just, 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 just swim your ass up to uh, wherever the heck you know. Uh, you want to go down the stream. That's where you need to be sent to, down the stream. And, um, and hope somebody will fish you out and put you on the grill. Yeah, that's the way I feel with people like that. So I saw a lot of comments uh, in different channels, but one really hit me. And I said, you know what, this is not right. This, 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 you know, these people are just not right. I showed you the school. This school's closed today. All schools are closed today in this town, okay? Not because of the holiday. Because the holiday's Monday. But because of what happened in Texas. What happens in one school, as devastating as that, even less, is still losses of, of children, small children. Even if they were teenagers, it would still hurt the whole country. East Coast, I know about the East Coast. I know about here. Teachers all dressed in black yesterday to mourn the losses and to give support to teachers, the other children. These kids are going to need a lot of therapy. These kids that experience that, okay, they're going to 
They're gonna need a lot of therapy. This is this is like being an infantry soldier and going to a war, and you have to shoot, and you never shot anybody before, and you have to shoot your first, second, third, and after that is like you just keep shooting, okay? To save your life, you're fighting for your country, okay? So if you're not a military person, this you couldn't understand it, okay? I work with veterans many years. I know their stories. They told me their stories. I truly understand. I cried with them. Uh, I tell you, I miss my job. But I became disabled, and I could not do my my lifting duties anymore. So, and they gave a package deal of early retirement because we were at top pay. So I, I said, you know what? Let me. I could have kept working for longer, but I said. You know what, let me take this, run with it, and give me another job, and I'll have a paycheck on the side. So, other things happened, and I couldn't do that. So, I got to deal with what I have. And there isn't much I could do. With heck of bills, groceries going up, everything's going up. Um, so, a lot of people have put stuff on hold. I'm not the only one. So... But, like I said, my channel's about everything, and I'm talking about this today because it really hurt me really bad. That people are going to say that the teachers don't want to go to work today. May 27, teachers are not going to work. I heard over on the west side of the incident, okay, the major incident. The east side, I already found out here, they were dressed in black, they were mourning because they are schools, they are teachers. These teachers are going to need therapy. Um... Even security. School up here where my kids went to, the, the middle school. Then you think was the best school there was up here. That's why I live on this end of town. And right now they have security guards with guns. They have everything in here because they walk in there with guns. There's fights on the other side of town. There's one school here. I used to live down that way. I moved the heck up out of there when my kids were little. I said, holy crap, they're gonna wind, if I stay on this end of town, they're going to wind up going to that school. That school is fights every day. I'm going to take you over there. I'll park one day over there. I think I made a video back then. It was a fight. Yeah, I did a video way back, maybe last year. I was just driving down the downtown area, and these kids were coming out of school. They were fighting. They were tearing down the stop sign, banging on the signs. They were off. Those kids down there are off the hook. But this year... They couldn't fit down there, so and a lot of parents moved up this way. So now they're in that school, and that's this school up here is the best one. Not not the one I'm, I just showed you. There's another one up here, and the school's all messed up. But you know what? I blame it on the parents. You don't keep track of what your parents are doing, and I blame it on media, social media, because there's too much social media platform out there for these kids. Before we didn't have all this. Uh, social media platform, Instagram, TikTok, all this craziness. A lot of parents don't have TikTok, Instagram. They're working. They're working to pay a roof over their head, to have a meal, to buy their shoes until they become old enough to to get a part-time job and, and try to, you know, get their own little stuff, whatever they need. That's what I did. And, um, but we don't be on Instagram and TikTok. I don't have Instagram. I don't, I don't have TikTok. I don't have, uh, what the heck, Twitter. I, don't, I only have my YouTube channel, okay? And um, because I was feeling lonely. I needed to make some friends, you know, right, in, right, right, when, right when I want you available. Not that, you know, whenever you can get to it, but, you know, to share, to share, to share. I don't know any of y'all personally, but y'all opened doors to me. And um, a lot of you very kind people. Have even opened doors to your home in other states that that you know when I roll when it's a safe time to roll and this gas price go down yes yeah, so I will stop by we can meet somewhere and have a lunch breakfast whatever and get to see you and you know maybe make your uh, use your your um, YouTube channel to to make the video you know, I even give that opportunity to the ones that open the doors to me I'm not gonna make the video on my channel you do it okay i'm gonna give you the credit that's how good i am i could do the video on my channel and 
Load it up. Whoa, Fanny with Ada with look at who she with. Okay, and get like what you know what? I, I made my channel just to have fun. Okay? Just to have fun. If y'all wanna give me links and comments, it's fine. I love the comments, I like interaction, like I said. If you wanna give me links, give me links. I'm not looking to 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 monetize and make money out of the channel. I just wanna make friends, okay? But if it does get monetized at one time or another down the line, because I got a long ways to go, that'll be great because I would use that to probably help others, okay? I was watching Alaskan Property this morning too. That made my day. That made my morning. He donated 780 pounds of food to his his town um, food bank. I used to do that too. It reminded me when I used, was working and our union, okay, our union used to collect food from all the supermarkets. We had groups. We The groups used to go to different towns in New Jersey. With the union card, they were called beforehand by the union representative, and I was a shop steward, okay? So I was in charge of like 15 people and um, to go to a different town, not just my town. Uh, and I didn't like roaming my town. So I would say, no, I'll take this other town. Yeah, I'll take this town. Okay, because this town is known for, um, you, you donate to them. And what they do is they stack up their cars and they take the stuff home. And then when the people need food, there ain't no food. So I said, I'm not going to my town because I already know what they do. But I will go to another town. Give me another town. So uh, we used to roam half of New Jersey, collect from the, um, we would have uh, vanners, uh, truckers, to pick up the stuff later on. We would go to make a deal, okay, um, through the, the head person of the union. They would do all the transactions on the phones and whatnot. We would go as shop stewards. To represent ourselves to sign any documents on behalf of the supervisor um, of our a shop steward we call the supervisor because he was the supervisor and anybody under that and then they would get the food distributed every you know everywhere so and um, and that's how we had the food banks running but this town I never deal with this town because they take the food and I hate to say this, but this is a Hispanic town, okay? This is a Hispanic town of every nationality of Hispanic, but there's one in particular that takes the food and brings it to their family. They, they call their families and they stock their cars up in the middle of the evening when no one is there. And then when the regular people go in need, all they get is a little bag of rice, two potatoes, uh, maybe six or four eggs, okay, and a little thing of juice. What? What? So I don't do this town anymore. And um, right around August is when we normally used to do it, so that they can have food for the winter. And then we would do also for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, we would make sandwiches at... Um, it's a big warehouse that they used to have in another town away from here. And we would distribute the sandwiches, uh, paper bags, okay? And we would hunt down the homeless. Then I would take my town. Then I would say, no, I'll take my town because I know where they at. But you better wear some good shoes, some good old beat up sneakers. Yeah, what? They the what? I'm like, yeah, you better have some good sneakers that you want to maybe wash them in the machine or throw them the heck out <laughs> why because they're under the bridge under the fishing pier they're under the 440 bridge that goes to new york they're behind the factories over there by the water that's where they hide in the carton boxes and their tents so that the cops don't be after them chasing them out and um so i took i took charge of this town so you know, a lot of people don't know, don't know me. I do a lot of things that I don't even like to talk about it because I don't like to post what I do. As far as that subject, 
in the train. But I saw comments, wasn't many comments, just a few. And um, they have no heart. They have no heart. That was a topic. School said that it was going to be closed May 27, short of staff of, of teachers, um, not enough staff to as a security. Um, so now the kids don't have school on the 27th, and and uh, maybe they might shut down the schools and blah blah blah. blah. Well, you know what? If parents have a meeting, and it's for the safety of the children to be homeschooled, well. The problem is not the children's and the teachers. The problem is that the parents don't want these kids at home because they have to work. So teachers are nowadays being used as babysitters. Okay? Yeah, I'll say that. I'll say that. Because I hear it all the time. Oh, I, they, they stay home, I, how am I going to get to work? How am I going to you know, deal with them, deal with this, and deal with that? But don't have no damn kids. Don't have no kids. If, if, if you can't take care of your child, you should have thought about that before you, you open your hoof, okay, to make a baby. Young girl, young girl's pregnant, walking up and down the street. I look at them like, oh my goodness, you know the future that they are missing out. I always tell my kids, make a career, make sure you make the money to get whatever the heck you want. Keep your credit intact and down the line. Okay, down the line, and then if you decide to have kids, you have kids because you can support your kid, you can pay your home, and then you can do what the heck you want to do, okay? Don't make no kids when you're still struggling at work and you can't even pay rent, okay? When you can pay your own rent, pay your own bills, and make your own groceries, and, and travel. I tell them travel, travel. Save your money, travel, have fun in life, because once you get married, that shit is over. Excuse my French again. It's over. Because everything is beautiful in the beginning. And then you're going to hook up with somebody who don't want to do this. And you don't want to do that. And you got to wait for permission. And you can't do this. Do it now. Do it now. When you're single, enjoy your life. Go out there. I couldn't do it because I raised y'all y'all asses, okay? So I didn't have it. I, I did was camping. So I want you to fly. I want you to, to travel. I want you to have fun. I want you to see the world. I want you to see other states, okay? I want you to enjoy yourself. And then, if you get locked down, <laughs> then that's your issue. So that's why I tell my kids. And they listen to me. They listen to me. So, life has more than just paying rent and bills and stuff like that. But I had kids when I was young. So, I'm paying the price. And it's not a price. It's a blessing. My kids are a blessing. They keep me busy. Keep my mind busy. <laughs> and I have one is the other, is the other, is the other. Don't drive me crazy sometimes. I'm going to go to hell. Leave me alone. Use my French again. But guys, where's the heart of people nowadays? Because it's not your kid. They killed what? 19 kids? Because they're not related to you. You don't give a you, you don't give a who? Those are kids. Those are angels. Those are those are God's angels. How can you say that? How can you even say that? How can anybody say, oh, the teachers, uh, you know, because they really don't want to give the all information. What they did say, because of what happened, the teachers, you know, they need some time. Of course they need some time off. You just saw something that you've never seen in your life and never expected to see. And to see kids, you know, 19 kids, you go into a classroom and see 19 kids shot dead. That's traumatizing. So... You're going to have a nervous, you're going to be a nervous wreck for who, who knows how long. So if the schools over there decide to close for a while and have the kids homeschool for now until they investigate, you know, clean up the school, get the security more in order, maybe get a, um, uh, uh, gates, higher gates, um, codes to let the kids in, whichever way they have to do it, they have to come up with a plan until then. If schools are decided to be closed, then they're going to be closed. If the schools over here are feeling the pressure too, they're going to do the same thing, okay? Any state, they're going to follow 
a better procedure so it doesn't happen again. So it doesn't happen again. Gates, um, security arm guards, more, okay? Trained. Not just anybody that carries a gun can monitor a school. Just because you carry a gun don't mean you're going to be able to, to, to defend yourself. My daughter carries a gun. She can't shoot unless she gets shot at. But yes, she has more authority than a cop. If they try to take her money, yes, she can shoot. She will bust her kneecaps. She said, I won't kill them, but I will bust their kneecaps. And she goes to a school, uh, uh, um, a shooting range. She's going to get them kneecaps, okay? So, not everybody that carries a gun will be able to defend themselves, all right? So, I hear people, I got a gun, I got this, I got that. Man, please, last minute somebody come up at you with a gun in your face, what the heck you want to do? Pee on your pants. All right? You're going to pee on your pants. So, unless you have a distance to cover and pull out your gun and shoot without getting shot. So, let's, let's be real. Let's, let's be real. Let's be real. So, like I said again, where are people's heart? So, one of the comments was, oh, the teachers probably took the gummy. And you know what the gummy is, right? I hope you know what the gummy is. Well, I took three. I took three gummies. I'm still here. I'm feeling fine. Okay? And I, I, and I, and I got the, 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 the gummy seat. Okay? But didn't knock me down like I did the first time. Well, for those people that are so negative, well, there's another variant coming around. I hope it doesn't hit you. And then you're going to say, well, dang. Okay? I hope you, your doctor don't say, listen, um, I can't take care of you anymore because you don't have the, you know. I hope your medical plan doesn't call you and say your medical way oh, is going to get dropped because you have to. It's a mandatory that through the insurance company, you have to have this. Sometimes we're obligated to do things. But then again, you take the flu shot. They're giving you the flu. <laughs> now they're going to give you the monkey box. Vaccine is already going to be giving out. Will it be mandatory? That one I wouldn't go for. But I got the other three gummies. Yeah, this week. What was it? Monday. Monday I got my my booster. And I'm going on a cruise. Supposedly, if nothing happens, we got willing by the end of July. I'm going on a cruise. I want to be safe. I don't want to be stuck on a cruise. Okay? With um, a sea breakout. If I get it, it won't be. I won't wind up in the hospital. Okay? I almost did. And if I had, I would not be here right now. Nobody knew what the heck was going on. I treated myself because I thought it was the flu. That saved my life. Even the doctor told me, you saved your own life. Lee. If you would have made it to the hospital, you would have never made it out. Because they were using all kinds of stuff. They didn't know what they were doing. Until they found out ex exactly down the line how to deal with it. But I wasn't in that point. I was at the point where nobody knew what was going on. So I would have never made it out. So it's a God blessing that I'm here. So I have to thank God that I'm here. And I always give God, uh, a thank God. And, and I pray a lot to give me health and strength for my kids. Because I want to see them grow up. I want to see them accomplish a lot of things. I want to see my my grandson grow. I want to see my youngest one with his fiance get married. You know, I, I want to see that. Right now I got a call from my brother up in state in New York. His arthritis is so bad he's, he, that he can't even walk. He said he feels like his kneecaps are going to blow up, blow up. What? Did you know what that news did to me yesterday? It knocked me right into my couch. I sunk into my couch I, I, under the blanket. And I just, I, I had to take a, 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 one of my, half of an anxiety pill. I said, my brother. That's my brother. What? He lives in upstate New York. I may be traveling out there, maybe tonight. Um, and I'll see what the weather is because when it's pouring rain down here, it's torrential out there. And I always get lost going up there because the Don GPS or the phone has taken me in four different routes. 
and I'm afraid to drive up there since the last time I got caught in that tornado. So, but then again, I would have to come back Sunday uh, before it gets dark for a year. So I could be in Jersey by the time it, it gets dark because uh, in case I wind up in one of them crazy roads coming down here. You get on the highway, but then it takes you in different directions that there's no lights. The, the, the trees are, are brushing over your van. Um, it'll take you down to the Garden State Parkway where there's a long highway with no gas stations, no nowhere to pull to the side if you have tire problems. I mean, you would just be stranded in the middle of the right lane. So I, I'm, so that's why I don't go up there as much. But I have to go up there to go check up on him. So he's a truck driver for, for diesel and gasoline. And he had to leave his job. He was declared... Um, disabled okay now my brother is disabled guys he's worked all his life since he was 18 delivering gasoline he's a barber he's a professional barber um but when he had his divorce his, his, his wife had did some tricks on the papers and just kept everything and she from she was from another nationality and then he gonna marry another one from the same nationality i'm like bro you're never going to move ahead because people take your money. You give her the money, you give her the car, she flies away, she's making a house in another country. You think she's worrying about your ass? Excuse my French again because that's the honest truth. This nationality is known for that. And I can tolerate them up to a certain point, but I already know they all think the same. I know so many of them, and that's all what they do. They take out. They don't marry the same the same nationality. They marry an Americanized person. Okay. They take the money. They take the money. They take the money. They fly out of the country. They make houses. And um, they come back like ain't nothing happening. And they know that a Puerto Rican's not going to live out there. And they know that an American ain't going to move out there. So that's why they don't go into the same nationality. Because that nationality, they're all after the same crap. The same bullshit. So, but as his wife, I respect her. I don't say nothing. That's not my life. I have no, my two cents, they got nothing to do in there. But he has a trailer home in upstate New York. Syracuse, uh, he's borderline to a whole bunch of different um, borderline states up there. So anyway, cities up there in New York, upstate New York. So anyway. I might have to travel out there, maybe tomorrow morning, check up on him, because he doesn't tell me anything, okay, when something's going wrong, he don't say nothing, he just, he, he sent me the letter, yo sister, look what the letter I got today, but now that's a process to apply for disability, and he doesn't know that, I'm like, bro, you better go to the unemployment office, because how the heck you gonna pay, I mean, he only pays like 300 and something for the, for the, for the, for the trailer, but how are you going to pay your bills now? But I know that he works like an animal. And he always saves like for a year or two years. And he don't say nothing. Even though the, the wife that he has now, she, she has a debit card. And um, he just gives her a big amount, a weekly big amount. I'm like, damn, I'm going to get more on a man like you. <laughs> yeah, just give me your ATM card and let me just spend whatever the heck I want. And don't have to work. We go with all work. She doesn't work. She doesn't work. So, uh, oh, they got an AC up there. I'm at, let me see if they took the bags. Yes, they did. Guys, I gave them food, okay? I left it right there. I told them, I'm going to leave them in the bags. So nobody will take them. I did pack up three Aldi bags full of um, vacuum seal beans, rice, Pastas, pasta sauces, uh, Spam, corned beef, uh, Vienna sausages, farina, wheat, flour. I did give them. Okay, just in case. You never know. You never know what anybody's going through. We're going through hard times. And they're barbers and hairstylists, so there isn't much that they can make. So I know they're struggling. So he's doing the vegetation. I know he'll give me some of it. Not like I... 
you, you know, get it in time or, or, or lose it constantly, you know. I don't know if they sell it or what, make money out of it. I don't know. But they always tell me, whatever you want, just take it. But I'm not that type of person either, okay. You want to give it to me, knock on my door and give it to me. Or if I want something, I'll ask for it and I'll give them a couple of dollars for it. But I'm not just going to jump the fence and help myself to tomatoes and this and that. No, no, that's not me. That's not me. So anyway, that takes a lot of effort and whatever to, for somebody to just help themselves. So, and my camera's keep an eye on it. So I said, you don't have to worry if ain't nobody going to steal nothing from there. And if they do, we're going to catch them because I got two angles for my camera. And, they, and I did put solar, very powerful solar lights. If anybody comes close to that back fence over there, that light's going to light up like the street light out there. And, and since they're right there, um, they sleep in the back, they can see that light pop up right there. So, so they ain't got to worry about it. So anyway, guys, um, we can't say it was because of the... the the gummy or the the V okay you don't know you don't know anything behind it what are you talking about you don't know anything behind that you've taken the what they give you when you're little the hepatitis they, my kids got the hepatitis uh, three of them it was two shots in the hospital and one when they got out of the hospital they had to come back for the third shot something like that they had um, chicken pox, uh, what the heck did my kids have when they were little, okay? And they got vaccinated for all, except for the HPV, that I refused to give them at 11 years old, no. Um, so, I did it, okay? My kids did it. We're all fine, all right? We're all fine. And I got my medical plan intact, because I was going to lose it. And my two youngest ones, they are still under my pension plan. So, I have medical issues like high blood pressure and anxiety. So, and asthma. So, I just can't let my medical benefits go because I don't want to take a darn shot. Yeah, it took me a long time. It did take me a long time to decide, okay? It did. It did. Guys, it did. What was it, 2019? I got it in 2000, I got it in the end of 2021, that's how long I waited and read on it and know people that did and then I had blood work done and I had everything done just to make sure that, you know, it didn't mess up nothing and whatnot. And I prayed to God, I said a prayer before I left, I said, you know what, I gotta do this because I gotta save my medical plan, it is what it is, and you know, because I'm a prayer and I, I and I, concentrate okay um in my peaceful time in my own corner i don't have to go to church i don't go to church i don't believe in churches i'll tell you right now i don't believe in churches so churches that didn't a lot that i saw with my own eyes i didn't like the way they were working and i don't go to churches no 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 i'd rather give to someone who might need and if they don't need it oh god well you know i don't care but i'm prepping but it doesn't mean I'm not going to help anybody that might need, okay? So, that's that, guys, you know. So, I saw people that don't have no heart. They weren't, they didn't, no concern whatsoever about what happened or why there is no school today. Oh, uh, negativity, negativity. Oh, they don't want to work. They, now they're going to collect unemployment. Oh, they just want to stay home. Oh, they, they, no, no. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Imagine you're going to work and, and the shooter comes in and shots 20 of your employees or your co-workers and you're looking at it, okay? If you survive, you're going to freak the heck out. You're going to freak the heck out. Are you going to go to work the next day? I don't think so. I don't think so. So even if you don't have any kids in school, don't knock anybody else's kids that go to school. Don't knock anybody else, okay? Blame it on the person who did the, the that did the, the the wrong thing, okay? Blame 
the, the, the parents and, and the kid because the parents don't keep track of these kids anymore. They give them what they heck they want. They want. They don't work. Okay. They don't. They don't have their kids working. They don't push their kids. Okay. To do the right things for the community. Involve them in the community. I did with mine. I had them in softball recreation department. I was coming out of work racing. One had basketball. One had softball. When they were little, instructional, little, little pieces of crap like this, this, okay? I was, even my, um, my son, the barber, reminded me of their mom. I couldn't recognize my own sister the other day. I'm like, what? She's looking for me to go eat, and she's right by me. I'm like, who is she? Because she lost a lot of weight. She was pretty. You didn't recognize your own sister. Oh, damn, nigga, you know? And, um, so he was laughing, and I was cracking up. And he's like, she used to be like that. Remember when she used to play baseball back in the, the other park back there years ago? I said, yeah, many years ago. I was like, yeah. He was like, that. She really looks good. I'm like, that's your sister. Oh, yeah. I'm going to look up for her. <laughs> I thought I was cracking up, guys. But I kept my kids busy with um, sports, outdoor recreation, sports not in the house, not playing games. And they had a phone when they was 11 years old. When I was working and I didn't have nobody to watch them, I trained my kids to call me every hour, every hour. If you don't call me in an hour, um, I'm gonna wind up over here. Yeah, oh yeah. And then they used to call me every hour, okay? You don't open the door to nobody. Nobody, okay? Nobody. And they never did. And I would run and bring them food and bathe them and put their pajamas on. 11 years old, you know, they, as long as they can turn on a microwave at 9 years old, the law in New Jersey is you can leave them alone. So I had to do what I had to do as a mom. As a single mom, I had to do what I had to do. But I trained my kids, if you want something, you're going to have to wait until you're 14 and you get a job and then you buy whatever you want to buy. Right now, we're going to pay lands to the BOGO sale. You get a pair and your pair will be a half a price. And we're going to go to Walmart and pick up underwears and t-shirts and whatnot and whatnot. Okay? And they only had what they needed. Yes, they did have what they had. The first Nintendo that came out. After that, they purchased their PS1. Or whatever the heck it was, the right that they had, because I don't know nothing about them games. When my son reached 14, my youngest one, he worked at the Conocorpia cruise ship, right here, right here. My daughter worked at uh, ShopRite, the big supermarket, okay? Um, and then she went to college, and even with college, she still had a job doing loss prevention. Her this criminal stuff. And uh, my son now... He's a boss in Florida. I went to the military, went to war twice. My oldest one, uh, he traveled over the world with the military. He was Germany, South Korea. He went to uh, so many different places. He was in, um, he, he was in Baghdad, 911. You know, that's another story. So, um, the other one, he studied barbering. So, he's doing okay. You, you gotta teach these kids, they have to make the money what you want. Don't, don't give him a phone and leave him, uh, give him a bedroom, okay? And, uh, well, I'm going to my buddy's house. Go, go find out who the heck that buddy is. Go talk to the parents. Listen, when you, my son gets here, you give me a call. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the parent. And that's what I used to do. My daughter wanted to sleep over a friend's house. I, oh, who? Normally with some parents that I knew. And very responsible. If they're not responsible, no, you're not going anywhere. And, um, and I would... Go out there, drop her off, meet the parents, anything. This is my phone number, okay? And I'm, I'm scoping around, okay? Yeah. And you know what? They eventually, they would. Firefighters. Firefighters. Emergency EMC. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I saw a baby girl. I heard the door. She went to work. So, and she says a rainy day. And humid. It's going to be 80 degrees out here. And it was 60 degrees yesterday. So it was kind of chilly. So that's why I have the, the sweater. Um, so yeah. 
you know, think before you open your mouth, before you start judging other people, think, think, okay? Because it could be you. God can send you a strike in your family, okay? Yeah, God, you know, he's merciful, but he always, he'll also punish, he'll punish you. Um, I always say the tongue is a double sword. I always say that. The tongue is a double sword of destruction. So you have to be careful. And um, with the times that we're going through now, it's not time to be judging A, B, C, D, E, F, and all the way down to the Z, okay? Um, it, it's time to get together. Uh, know your surroundings. Um, don't gift someone because you know them. Oh, I know her, so I'm going to give her this. I'm gonna... If your heart tells you, you know what? I don't know about this one or that one, but I'm going to take a couple of things that I have here. And just do it. Just do it. Anybody telling you to do it, but you just do it. Go ahead and do it. You're helping somebody. If you, um... If you buy extra cans of, uh, like me, I started buying jars because I don't know how to can jellies and stuff like that. So, or, or relish, you know, stuff like that. Relish, pickles, you know, stuff that you, you know, to put on your hot dog. <laughs> so, I buy the mustard, I buy the ketchup, I buy the jars of relish, I buy the bars, uh, the jars of uh, pickles. Um, you know, uh, the chili, I got the ground beef, I got the chili meat, um, sauce, so, you know, share that, okay, buy a couple, and, and, and give somebody some jars of relish, some jars of, um, uh, uh, ketchup, some jars of, um, bottles of, uh, um, uh, the uh, mustard, okay, if you're gonna, you see a sack of potatoes that's five pounds for two ninety nine. Um, get two, you know, give it to somebody, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, there's this Mexican girl that, she passes at 5.30 in the morning, I'm, I'm looking out for her, she has like four kids, and you know what, because of the people judging other people, for no reason, over one bad, one person will make the whole bad apple look bad, don't do that, don't do that. I know this Mexican family, they struggle. They struggle. I know they got four kids, and they're little. One is in a stroller. The other one is holding on to the stroller, walking down the street. Four o'clock in the morning, guys. Winter, summer, spring. Every day, every day. But I've been getting up at five. So I'm going to try to get up at four, because between four and four thirty, that's when I hear the stroller going down and the kids. And I know they struggle, but they work. They work, okay? Not everybody that, every nationality you see in the United States don't have papers. Not, okay? Not everybody that is a different nationality uh, don't have papers. Some are here legally. Some are here legally. And even if they're illegal, they've been here for so long. They do have some kind of documentation because they do get help from the government of some way, one way or another, but they do have to work too. They only get a little bit because they work, but they're trying to make ends meet too because their country is so poor. If I live in a poor country and I had the opportunity to get out, I'm going to get the heck out. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Say no. Put on the comments and say no. So let's be real, okay? I like to keep it real. Okay, I keep it real. I keep it as it is. And I really haven't talked to talk yet, okay? But I'm going to have to change because I want it to be me. I don't want to make somebody make me a different person that I am not. I am going to be me, okay? Take it or leave it. Um, I try to do the best I can. Um, I am as friendly as I want to be. I will take my shirt off my back, okay, if you needed it. That's why I don't have a damn thing because I always keep giving stuff away. And I don't care and I don't regret it one minute. But let's be real, okay? Be yourself. When you be yourself, people will love you more. 
when you try to hide stuff from people and, and try to be on camera uh, like a Miss, Miss Goody Two Shoes, okay? And sometimes you can't even say the fuck word or what the hell or, or you know, give me a fucking break and shit like that. When you come from Brooklyn, um, yeah, you don't want to talk like that, but I've seen people talk worse than that, worse than that. And people just, it's just that person. That's the way it is, you know. Not that you're going to do it all the time. But sometimes I have to hold my tongue. And I'm tired of holding my tongue back. So I'm holding my tongue back right now. But I'm telling you in a nice way. I'm telling anyone watching this video right now, guys. Please, please, you know. I'm not judging anybody, but it hurted me. I just want to let you know the commenters that were mocking the teachers mocking that they don't want to go to work, mocking now that it's the, the, the gummies, okay? It was the the, the the jab that's got them all twisted in the head. No, it's it's a morning of loss across country that is hitting all the countries. It's hitting all the schools. It's hitting all the teachers. It's hitting all the parents. It's, 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 it's hitting all the relatives of these, these kids. And in your family... You should have kids, you should have grandkids, you should have nieces and nephews, okay? Unless you were born of a rock. If you were born from a rock, then your heart is, is a rock, okay? So take that rock out of your heart and put a heart up in there, okay? And have some heart. Have some heart because you don't know it'll hit right in your home. It'll hit. God will punish you, it'll hit you right in your backyard where you, where, for, where the person you most love, it will hit you. Because you don't have no heart for others. You are selfish. Selfish. That's what I saw. Selfishness. And it's not about the jab either. Okay? And I just want to let everybody know there. I just got my third booster this Monday. This Monday. Today's the 27th. This past Monday, I got my booster. And my kids also. Okay? And I got it. Last year, at the end of last year, my first dose, then the second dose, and then now it's the, the third dose. Okay, let me see. No, my second dose was in October. This was my booster. And that's as far as I'm going to go. That's as far as I'm going to go. Because now they're going to force the monkeypox, okay? Now they're going to force the monkeypox vaccine. They can keep that crap. Because i got plenty of calamine here and antibiotics and what is needed, okay? Um... So, let's not say it was the jab. You know, people are just, you took, did you take the flu vaccine? How do you know what the heck is in there? Did you take the HPV? Um, they give it to your kids? How do, uh, what do you know you, they gave to your kids? Okay, anti-cancer uh, uh, for the kids. How do you know? Okay, did you take the pneumonia shot? Because you know the pneumonia shot is out there too along with the flu shot. Do you know what's in the pneumonia shot? Did you take that shot? How do you know what's in that shot? Ain't nobody talked about the pneumonia shot. Ain't nobody talk about the flu shot. Ain't nobody talk about the chicken pox. Ain't nobody talk about the HPV. Ain't nobody talking about hepatitis A, B, and C shots they give the babies when they're born. You're a newborn getting a hepatitis shot? And you say, oh, okay, oh, okay. So studies was made behind that. In the beginning, the shot was giving a problem. The doses were wrong. It was something new. But I waited, and my life was saved through my nebulizer, my asthma pump, Vicks, antibiotics that I had, cough medicine that I had, okay? Um, Tylenol, all right? Yeah. Alcohol, that I finally washed my face with alcohol until my eyes burned. I felt like three, like three people hit me with a bat. Not one person, but three people beat me up with a bat. I couldn't move. I couldn't smell. I couldn't taste. I lost about 27 pounds. But it made me healthy. It made me healthy. Yes, it did. So, I took it. I have my reasons. I have my rights as my choice, okay? So that is to be respected. So if you want to talk about another person with a jab, as you got Vanny with Ada, talk all about me all you want, okay? So, but I love all my people on my channel. 
and people that I am subscribe to other channels but um I just don't like the nick picking of um of some governmental people they're gonna do what the heck they want to do okay it don't matter what I, I agree with one 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 person said that they don't trust other nationalities on the government uh, yeah I don't either I don't either I'm Puerto Rican I'm gonna tell you the truth because I keep it real I keep it real I'm Puerto Rican can't nobody tell me go back to Puerto Rico I dare somebody tell me go back to Puerto Rico because I'm gonna slap my birth certificate up your nose okay I'm gonna shove my birth I got two birth certificates I, I, I could tear one up okay I can tear one of my birth certificates up somebody's face it says born in Brooklyn okay so I'm so glad that nobody told has told me go back to Puerto Rico right up in my face because I got two birth certificates okay one I thought I had lost and I had to go back to Worth Street in New York and apply for and get another one right there on the spot but it cost me a hell of money to get out there to get that done to get my uh, my new birth certificate but mine says born in Brooklyn and I'm from Puerto Rico I mean I'm I, you know I'm Puerto Rican my family from Puerto Rico some a lot of them born in the United States you can't tell me go back to Puerto Rico because I'll slap you behind yeah I'll slap you up in the face with my birth certificate oh yeah oh, oh yeah oh yeah so we have to be careful what you say to other people okay because you don't know and right now mine you know do what you got to do and that's it go on with your day if you can help somebody help somebody if you can't help them leave them alone leave them alone okay if you have a bad neighbor these are bad times try to find a way to get along with your neighbor okay even if you don't want to even if you hate the heck out of them just when you catch them outside you know excuse me come here you know i know we've been having some issues but let me show you how to do this okay just in case a lot of people uh, they don't they don't want to they don't want to bow down they don't want to put their head down sometimes you do have to do that sometimes some people don't like to 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 be the first one to break the ice because you're too proud of yourself that's not going to get you anywhere either listen you have to sometimes bend your knees, okay? And I ain't talking about beg. I'm talking about sometimes you have to make the first move. Even if you hate your neighbor, okay? You can't stand them all. These are times if you see your neighbor. Hey, how you doing? You know, how's your day? Can I talk to you for a second, you know? I'm sorry to bother you. Of course, they want to hear what the heck you got to say. Of course, they're going to come to you. What? What can I? What? 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 Oh, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. You know, I know we, you know, we ain't been in two good terms and whatnot, but I don't have nothing against. You. Even if you have a thousand things against me, I don't have nothing against you. But you know, these are hard times, and you know, we're neighbors. We look out for each other. You know, so I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm available here if you need anything. I know you might not need anything from me, but you know, just in case, um, you know, we're here. Like if I go away, you know, I'll let you know when you can watch over my property, my area, or I'm planting this, you know, um, I would like you to, you know, when it's ready to have some, some of my tomatoes or my whatever or whatnot. Or listen, I have, a, uh, I guess, sales and stuff out there, you know, if you ever need anything when I go out to BJ's, Costco, whatever, and you're working, you know, just, you, you could tell me and we can help each other by saving gas instead of both going out there. You know, I, I could bring it to you and then you reimburse me. I'll give you the receipt. That's what you do. But try to get them. Try to get, make the friends with that neighbor. Eventually, you know, all the commotion and the stress and whatnot, it'll be over. You have somebody on your side. Right next to you. That's what you need. Even if you hate your guts, but eventually you're going to become good friends. I had that experience. I hated one person one time. Oh, God knows. But you know what? In the end, somebody sat me down and told me that. I'm like, what are you crazy? F them. But no. I did it. I had not here. It was long years ago. I did it. And you know what? We became best friends. 
We became best friends. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we, we still call each other, you know? She still has my number. So sometimes it's not kissing ass, okay? Sometimes you don't, you don't have to kiss nobody's ass. But it's not kissing ass. It's just trying to mend friendship, okay? Mend, mend something stupid and make it a good thing. And that's the way I see a lot of things, okay? That's the way I think. That's the way I've, I've, um, I've done before in the past. And let me tell you, everybody loves the heck out of me, okay? As long as you don't cross me and do something bad to me, really bad, you can do whatever with me. But um, let's have a little sympathy, a little bit of heart for these big casualties that are going through. Because the next time it'll be supermarket parking lot where your grandmother or your great granny um, or your auntie or even your mother or your father are going to get shot out there in the parking lot. And then what? You know, we're gonna we're we're gonna tell you, oh, f you. Well, you remember one we that you 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 remember what you said about? Me? Well, now you now you got your share, your fair and share. Yeah, don't 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 do that. No, don't do that. Have a heart for everybody. We're all in here in the U.S. struggling, making ends meet, raising our kids as best as we can, and doing as best as we can. And if we can't do for ourselves, we are pushing our kids ahead. Okay, for them to succeed in life, because what we have, we're not taking it with us, okay? So I don't care if I live in a uh, uh, a place where I got to sweep leaves every freaking day or every other couple of days. I don't care if uh, um, the garbage got ants and shit back there, you know. Um, I would just, just, a, just a matter of just washing it out, okay? Um, I don't care about fancy home. That doesn't call my attention anymore. I don't look at none of that. I had it all, okay? I had it all. So I live happily in my little cubby hole than when I did when I had it all. And it's good to have. Yes, it's good to have. But it is what it is. You take it as it is and you move ahead. And when you have kids, you push your kids ahead. And you tell your kids, you push your kids ahead the same way. You don't let them do what the heck they want to do. You, you, you have to talk to them when since they are little. So they can start understanding what life is about. Okay. So anyway, guys, have a little bit of heart. And today, I hope you say your prayers. Okay. And stay in prayers with those families that are in mourning out there. All right. Because um, those are children. Those are children, guys. And the two teachers, they're somebody's house, uh, wife, somebody's daughter. And um, and also, they were there for other people's kids, okay? So, let's have some heart, guys. So, I'll leave you with this video. And leave your comments below, I don't care. You can, you can comment below whatever you want. I appreciate it. I always get back to you. And like I said, I keep it real. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you what is not. And if I feel like I need to say something, I will say it. I don't care. You know, I, 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 want, I want to express what I feel, how I feel about it, all right? We all bleed red, and um, those could have been our kids, okay? Those could have been one of our kids. Um, it could happen in your town. It could happen anywhere. Keep your eyes open. Keep your surroundings. If you live by a school, when the kids go to school, just go outside. Just listen to what they're saying, okay? When they come out of school, listen to what they're saying, okay? Sometimes you might hear something that is helpful to report and that can avoid another casualty in your area. I do. I started doing it here yesterday. I was like, wait a minute. I went out there to listen. But the kids were just rambling to go get empanadas and stuff. And these are high schoolers here. So, and um, there's a big high school being built. And it's in a dangerous zone. That avenue is dangerous. That avenue is nothing but, but um, there's going to be a lot of things happening up there, okay? That's an accident-prone area. There's always major accidents right there, and why they want to build that school right there? Why don't they take the beautiful high school they have right behind me and make it higher with more floors up instead of taking them across town? Oh, my God goodness the main highway a main highway guys you know and these kids don't listen they just walk wendy's is there quick check is there but that's not the point 
The point is that Avenue is accident prone. Um, motorcycles have had accidents where they flew up. Actually, one of my my uh, my youngest kid's uh, family member. Now that I remember, she was the one. Uh, she was riding on the motorcycle with the husband. Uh, a car was speeding, hit them. The bike flew up in the air. She flew off from the back seat behind her husband. Her 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 body hit the was it Merritt gas station? Merritt. I think it's Merritt gas station. If I'm not mistaken, the um, they closed it down. The sign still has that crack in there when her body hit way up there where that sign is. Okay, we lost her. And that was many years ago. Uh, and a lot of accidents happen on that highway. Now the school is right there. God, you know, we, we pray for these kids all the time. You know, I see them, well, you know, whatever. When masking time was there, they didn't have a mask. I would sit out there. I hear, oh, shoot, I forgot my mask. I said, whoa, 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 hold up. So I would come out in the morning. If y'all don't have no masters, I'll be right here. And then after, eventually, I, I you know, I, I just let them on their own. I said, I can't be buying masks for y'all. So y'all get this shit together. And they would laugh at me. <laughs> and in the summertime, I offer them water. You know, are you thirsty? Yeah, you have some water? Yeah, I'll give them something. But, uh, and some of them know me because they're from, you know, when they were younger. So, um, yeah, guys. Have a heart. Have a heart. You know, have have a heart here. Okay? Not a sharp tongue and a and, and an ugly head, ugly mind. Okay? Yeah. So, look out for these kids. And have a heart for... If the schools are closed today, they're closed for a reason. Okay? They're in mourning. They're in mourning because they have a heart. We have a heart. Okay? So, this school here is closed today, too. All the schools are closed today. So anyway, y'all have a good day, a good evening, a good night. And I'll see you sometime next week, okay? So, but I will keep up with my prepping, okay? I'll keep up with my channels, my vanning channels and my prepping channels and all of that and all of y'all. And thank you. Uh, leave your comments below. Lots of heart, um, hearts and hugs to all of you, okay? So look at the weather, guys. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's going to rain like at 2 p.m. It's going to start raining until Sunday morning. And I'll see uh, if I get to my brothers. But when I go there, I like to stay for a couple of days. I don't like to go and come back because I got my own bedroom up there. <laughs> I got my own bedroom there. But his arthritis is really bad. He can't work anymore. So he got the letter that he cannot perform his duties anymore. And he doesn't know what to do. So I told him to go to the unemployment office. Because he on work 40 something years for gasoline. And uh, he did give me the 411 on the gasoline too, but I'll make that another video. And um, he has uh, bad arthritis in his wrist, back. Knees are really bad. And um, vertigo. So they put him out of work. So now he has to apply for disability, and you know how long that takes. So I started wor I worrying. I said, oh my goodness. How you gonna pay his, he only pays like 300 of a mortgage for the trailer. Beautiful, he has a, like, a, like a homestead, he has a lot of land. But he's up there in New York. I'm like, bro, for you in the wrong state because you need some heat, okay? You need heat. Um, it's cold up there as heck. And he won't be able to do a lot of things. I mean, he can still walk around, move around and whatnot, whatnot. But when them pains hit, they knock you down because they do to me. But he has the other one, the worst one, the one where your bones break and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys. So, now nah, I got to go check up on my brother. And if I get up there, I'll show you the homestead. Maybe I'll camp up there. But now my baby girl's still using my van. So, um, they said, like, in another week or something like that, it'll, it'll get settled. Um, hopefully, you should get something nice, okay? Uh... A car does have value. And um, well, let's see. Take it from there. And then I can get on the road and do what I want to do. But for now, I'm on hold because, you know, a situation can always happen. You plan things and always, you know, you, you might have a situation coming into, into you know, getting your way. So that's why I, I quit saying what I'm going to do. Okay. When I get to doing it, then I'll show you how this, this is what I'm doing right now. Then look at me. Look at, look at this. Look at that. Okay. So, guys, um, I truly appreciate all of y'all. 
I got my camera backwards. That's why it's hard for me to focus on y'all. But anyway, I'm glad that you heard me. Listen carefully. And please, change um, for those out there. Have a heart. Think about it. Think about it, okay? Think about it. Don't live on hate. God don't like ugly. Don't live on hate. Hate is something that it, it, it should never exist, okay? Never exist. So anyway, guys. Um, everybody, have a good day. Thanks for watching. And Vanny with Ada is out for now. I'll catch you on my next video, guys.